This is my story. A story of a teacher in London who is a follower of the Gülen movement. A young girl who is accused, not by her own doings, but by what the Turkish media portrays. I'm accused of so many acts when really I'm the one who is oppressed, all because I consider myself a student of Gülen. If you look at me and my obligations, you'll see why I've got such a great population. It's because there is that motivation and that sense of inspiration to help the other and care for one another, yet I've become on the list of things to detest and screamed in rage in almost every protest because why? Apparently people like me become the reason of threat to Turkey, my country and people of my own. Fethullah Gülen taught me not to kill or to slay or to lie. He has never asked me to hate or to swear or even to discriminate. From his teachings and books, I've learnt nothing but how to be a good person, a person of peace and a person of love. And they say I'm a terrorist and an extremist. You know what? I am an extremist. We, the followers of Hizmet, have been extremely kind all these years, dedicating our lives to serve the other, which is our motto. Tell me, what kind of terrorism opens schools, hospitals, orphanages, dialogue centres globally? So I guess our extreme benevolence to all mankind was too much to handle. There have been so many that we have been blamed for, and those who even kill in our name. But if we don't approve, then why are we to blame? In every movement you'll find those who abuse it, but why abuse all from what some might do in our name? Don't judge me from what you hear from someone you don't know. It's me. I don't even have the courage to hurt your feelings, let alone have an ideology of killing. You all are acting like you don't know me. I give what I get and what I got is good. So if they do otherwise, they misunderstood. Listen, I'm not here to preach, but just declare misconceptions with the way I'm viewed and my common perception. Because yes, it hurts when I'm literally abused by some who do it for pleasure, just to be amused, and by some who follow the trend because they're clearly confused. Tell me. Is this what happens just for having a good intention? It's just they never listen when I tell them. All they understand is anything against me. We are being silenced and punished without any acceptance of explanation. Don't you think you need to hear me out before labelling me the bad one?